Morgan Park Academy's highest award for alumni is the Richard L. Duchesaw Integrity and Values Alumni Award. Given annually in recognition of Mr. Duchesaw's life achievements, outstanding professional success, and service to the academy, his community, and society. Mr. Duchesois' example of accomplishment and service has for decades inspired classmates and colleagues and inspired all of us here at Morgan Park Academy to ensure that his beloved alma mater stays true to the mission and values that have guided us for nearly a century and a half. Today's recipient of the Duchess Squad Award is Mr. Kenneth Mortensen of the class of 1963. Ken and his wife Linda have been tremendous supporters of the Academy, as they have for countless organizations in their local community back home in New York, including the Glaucoma Foundation and the Memorial Sloan Kittering Cancer Center. It is in recognition and in wholehearted gratitude for their support of MPA and its students and faculty that we are proud to rechristen the dining hall behind me as the Mortensen Family Dining Hall. Welcome Kim. Ken is our past recipient of the Duchess Wild Award and retired Board of Trustees Chair, Mr. Raj Rothman. First of all, I'd like to express my congratulations to the class graduating. Wonderful job, particularly in this year. I'd also like to thank Merce and Tom for their leadership uh, of this institution. Uh, wonderful job as well, particularly in these times. Clearly the faculty, world-class educational program, and to be able to pivot in what you've done in this type of tumultuous environment. Uh, and for the Board of Trustees, Heidi, and the rest of the trustees, thank you for your hard work. Uh, today, we, I really wanted to be here because uh, I had the pleasure of getting to know Ken for the better part of over 10 years. It started with breakfasts and lunches uh, in New York, and it's uh, culminated into much more than that. Uh, from my perspective, Ken is good people, and I say that intentionally. He's good people, not a good person, people in the plural. When you look at what he's done in his life, it is exceptional, and it seems like multiple life, uh, multiple lives have been lived through this one individual. Excellent educational pedigree, Morgan Park Academy, Carleton College, MBA from Michigan, world-class world -class professional accomplishments, Oppenheimer, managing director, leading a very, very large group, and perhaps most importantly and most impressively, the way he gives back to the community whether it's in New York or Beverly Hills, Chicago, North Park Academy, it is really a pillar and a beacon of hope for all of us and something for all of us to aspire to. Not only has Ken given to this academic institution in a way that literally put the roof over our heads with Hanson Hall, he's now given in a way of renaming the Dino Hall, Dining Hall that in some theoretical fashion, I guess, continues to put food on the table for the school as well. It's really remarkable what one person can do for an institution like this, and the love that Ken has shown this institution, and what he's done professionally, is something we can all be very, very proud of. In my humble opinion, there is no better person to receive the Duchess Law Award than Ken. And with that in mind, please, let's give him a warm welcome. benefactor Dick has been to the Academy makes it even more special. It's a tremendous honor to receive this handsome plaque, glass, 
and it's an amazing feeling to be up here. It's equally exciting to have our name placed in the dining hall. Although I ate over 700 meals in there, I never dreamed that it would uh, have my name on it. What a wonderful legacy. Thank you. But even more importantly, let's keep in mind that today is your day. If I may slightly paraphrase the immortal words of Drake, the noted <laughs> philosopher, raconteur, and rap star, well, you started from the bottom, now the whole team's here. Congratulations to all of you. I started here in 1959 as one of 22 freshmen in the first non-military class uh, since the early two, uh, 1900s. It was still all male. Over the ensuing years, only 13 of the original 22 boys actually graduated from here. And of those 13, uh, subsequent graduation actually wound up in the Federal Witness Protection Program. So maybe we only have 12 and a half. <laughs> Uh, among those who dropped out along the way was a freshman classmate of mine who uh, got tossed for trying to burn down the gym. That, that gym. Uh, another freshman who weighed over 200 pounds uh, was caught grabbing his best friend, who was about this big, uh, by the ankles. Now that might sound a little innocuous to you. The problem was he was in the old West Hall hanging out of the third floor window when he did it. Uh, he was also tossed. It was an interesting, perhaps challenging group. I have many happier memories, highlighted by the admission of women my sophomore year. Significantly helped by the closing of the Loring School for Girls, which used to be over 170 longer, I believe. Uh, my graduate class wound up being about 25% female. In addition to creating a more realistic social environment for everybody, uh, the women also greatly helped our class GPA. <laughs> While we were an eclectic group attending a school that was in dire financial straits in the early 1960s, we had one huge advantage, a dedicated, caring, and extremely competent faculty. This cornerstone of the academy experience remains stronger than ever today. The education that I received here played a major role in my life, helping me in untold ways. While encouraging independent thinking and curiosity, it also laid a strong foundation for practical learning. The practical learning and some not so practical, although learning about the Roman gods, if you watch Jeopardy, it was helpful sometimes. Uh, these strengths have been key to my professional accomplishments and have allowed Linda and me to enthusiastically support the Academy. Uh, please indulge me as I offer one thought as you move ahead in the next phase of your education. I'm confident the Academy has encouraged and equipped you to critically analyze many disciplines from traditional studies to the proverbial thinking outside the box. While choosing your college courses, sometimes try venturing outside your normal areas of interest because you then open yourselves up to many exciting and new fields. Today's world is incredibly dynamic. Innovation in so many areas is taking place at breakneck speed. Some of you will eventually wind up working professions that probably don't even exist yet. Take some chances. Thank you to the Academy for the privilege of sharing a part of your day with me. It's been an honor. Within the next hour, you will join me and thousands of others in an elite group as alumni of MPA in a partnership that will last forever. I hope that you will always cherish your time here and that your connections with each other and MPA will never end. Best wishes to all of you as you journey through life.